What is going on YouTube? I'm Project Shadow and today I'm bringing you guys something a little bit different. As you can see on the screen here, there is some Call of Duty Modern Warfare beta gameplay. Specifically, the Ground War game mode. The reason for this is because this is going to be a part one of two post-commentary kind of my thoughts and feelings on these different things. This video is going to be exclusively talking about the Ground War game mode. The next one will be talking about my overall thoughts and feelings for the beta. But today I wanted to go over, in my opinion, and again this is my opinion so you guys might think differently, the pros and cons of this game mode. So you know this game mode is brand new to the Call of Duty series, I wanted to make it its own video. It's We have never had a game mode like this before Ground War was 10v10 if I'm not mistaken, 9v9 slash 10v10 I believe. Today, <laughs> in this new Call of Duty, we have 32 versus 32 and some rumors about 50 v 50 even, but today we're just talking about 32 versus 32. So, again, this is my first time doing a post commentary, so hopefully you guys like it, hopefully it sounds alright. But anyway, let's jump right into it. My first pro I want to cover, I'm going to cover the pros and the cons, start with the good and with the bad. So the first pro is... It's a, this game mode is a good kind of chaos, and what that means is there is always something going on. You step outside, you spawn, and immediately you're greeted with tanks, airplanes, killstreaks, just gunfire, just craziness going, and you just, every angle you look, there's something going on. The little compass, it's always lit up with red, and you always see on the mini-map there's gunfights over here, snipers in that mountain, a tank over there, and it's freaking crazy. And that, I think that's the biggest appeal of this game mode, personally, is I love that there's always something going on. It's just pure chaos, lots of fun. And that's really, at the end of the day, what you want out of a game mode. So the next thing I want to touch on is I will be grinding the ever-living heck out of this game mode for XP. I feel like this game mode gives out a shit ton of XP. And I don't know if that's going to change when the full release comes out. It might. But I feel like this is going to be the best way to get to the Master Prestige. To get the highest, whatever they decide to do, whether they do the thousand or not. Um, I feel like it's going to be the best game mode to grind. Just because the amount of kills, the amount of stuff you can get, the white phosphorus kill streak I've been hearing from a lot of people. I personally didn't use it. But I've been hearing from a lot of people with all the assists you get. There's some gameplays and screenshots I've seen of people getting like 96, 97 assists just from the white phosphorus on this game mode. That's how crazy and how much XP you can get. Could you imagine double XP on this game mode? Oof. Anyway, the next thing I wanted to touch on was this game mode is easier to get kill streaks since there's so many people. There's a lot of people that don't know what the frick is going on. <laughs> so a lot of times you kind of see people roam around the map, especially experienced players, kind of picking off these people that are just staring in one direction, not standing still, not really knowing what's going on. This is not a game mode you want to stand still in because you have about 17 other people staring at you with their sniper scopes. So I feel like this is going to be the the nuke grind game mode. You're gonna see a lot of gameplays, a lot of streams, a lot of people grinding for nukes, myself included, full of release. I unfortunately didn't get one during the beta. I got very close. I went on a 22 kill streak and unfortunately died. So anyway, the next thing I want to touch on is there are multiple ways to play. I kind of talked about this just a second ago, but again, you can jump right into C Flag, for example, is the best example for this. Jump onto C Flag, get into a gunfight, boom, 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 there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of people, a lot of spawns, crazy shit. Or, you can kind of, the best part, the best places to spawn if you're gonna kind of sit back and snipe would be the spawn flags I'd say. Go around the map like I said, snipe the kids that aren't really paying attention. So there's a lot of different ways to play. You can play objectively, play aggressive, play as a slayer, you know. And that's the best, best part about this game mode is it just allows you to do what you want. <laughs> Within reason of course. But anyway, unfortunately I think it's time to dive into the cons and um honestly and i don't know if it's just because i'm a call of duty fanboy or not but there are really just three major cons i want to touch that sounded wrong <laughs> anyway the first one i want to address is this needs to get fixed asap 
By the way, Activision, Infinity Ward, whoever handles your QA testing, get it fixed. There have been multiple times per night where I was when I was playing the beta where my console would crash. Not only would the game crash, and yes, the game did crash multiple times, and yes, it's a beta. It's to be expected, but my, my whole entire console crashed. I have, I have the Xbox One X, so I have the most powerful console. Not trying to brag or anything, but I'm just kind of giving you guys an idea. I do have the most powerful console on the market right now, and it still crashed like twice per night on this game mode specifically. It didn't crash anything else, so maybe it's just it couldn't handle it or something on the servers. But not only would the game crash, the freaking console would make the low blip noise it makes when it shuts off. So I don't know what that error is i don't know if it's something in the code in the network or what but hopefully it gets fixed the next thing i want to touch is with with the ability to spawn on your squad mates one thing i noticed at least with the enemy team is they get really weird spawns and me personally i have experienced this too I would spawn right behind a guy, especially when you hop on C flag. When you spawn in a teammate in C flag, there seems to be this thing where you spawn in the room to your left of your teammate. So your teammate, for example, is on the far right room. I said far right. Far right room. And you, for some reason, when you select to spawn on him, would spawn either in the middle, where kind of all the sniping goes on, where the flag is right in front of your face, or you spawn in like the left side closer to B. I don't know why, but there was multiple times that I would spawn right behind somebody, easily kill them, and it happened to me a lot. So hopefully something gets fixed with that, and I know it's brand new, it's something they need to tinker and work with. But this next one I really want to talk about is it seems to be a very popular glitch and hopefully it gets fixed because it really pissed me off. People would glitch themselves under the map. What this allows is they shoot and you can't tell where you're being shot from. All it says in your map is someone is right below you but you're standing on the freaking concrete. Well someone is shooting from under the map and I noticed this after getting killed. Look at the, look at the kill cam. And this dude is shooting from freaking hell or something, man. He's just right under the map. And of course, these people are getting nukes because no one can shoot them because they're under the map and they can shoot everybody they want. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this has been a glitch before in Call of Duty. I'm very well aware, but hopefully it gets fixed. So anyway, guys. <laughs> I know it kind of seemed like I was ragging on it, but overall, I just want to say this game mode is a lot of fun, and me personally, when the full game does get released, I will be grinding the ever-living shit out of Ground War, and hopefully the 50 v 50 is good too, because that would be even more chaotic, so. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, this was my first post-commentary, and I have taken this a few times, so. Forgive me if I'm not the best at this. I kind of I have this really bad habit of stumbling over my words and all that, but hopefully I can just get over it and you guys still enjoy the video. So anyway guys, this has been Project Shadow. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, let me know how I'm doing. Subscribe if you guys want to. And have an awesome day. Peace.